If there is one individual skill in the game of soccer that demonstrates a player's confidence and mastery on the ball, it is the sombrero flick. When performed correctly, this spectacular skill sends a message to the opponent who is the player to watch out for in one-on-one -on -one situations. It will leave your opponent or multiple opponents unable to get to the second ball to stop you. You might ask, what about the nutmeg? It is a fair question. Most players think of the nutmeg as the ultimate confidence move. The sombrero skill requires more coordination, more ball control and confidence since it is performed in the air. Players perform mags in just about every game. The sombrero flick is a rare skill that we see only once in a while. Are you convinced? And ready to get started on becoming the Sombrero Master? Then subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your teammates and turn on notifications to learn the hack to master the spectacular Sombrero Fint. The Sombrero Flick allows you to get past your opponent by playing the ball to yourself in the air. You might say it is a volley skill. You flick the ball over the opponent's head and resume dribbling on the other side of them. To master the hack, you want to wrap your mind around the three most important elements of the sombrero fint. 1. It is most often performed when a player spots that an opponent marking them is moving in close to them to make a tackle. To do sombrero successfully, you must make sure that the ball is sufficiently far away from the opponent when you flick it, so they cannot intercept it. 2. Most of the time, it is important to perform the sombrero fint on a half turn to make sure to be first to the ball on the other side of the opponent. Be ready to immediately slip past them at the moment you connect with the bottom of the ball to flick it in the air. 3. The most common mistake when performing the sombrero skill is to flick the ball too high. It takes longer for the ball to travel through the air in a higher arch, so the opponents will have enough time to adjust to the play, turn if necessary, and make the interception. Let us emphasize the three most common mistakes you must avoid when performing sombrero. Mistake 1. Playing the ball too high, giving time to the opponent to adjust and react. Mistake number two, playing the ball over opponent too close to them. You must play the ball far enough from them to leave them helpless. Mistake number three, you want to make sure to be ready and turning as you are flicking the ball to leave them no chance at getting to the ball before you. Here is the greatest news of all when it comes to mastering the sombrero move. To get you started on mastering the sombrero, bounce the ball in front of you and lob it over yourself in the air in the direction you want to go. Make sure to flick the ball on a half turn. This will allow you to turn early before the opponent realizes what you're up to. Then control the ball before the bounce. Of course, it is also important to practice your immediate drop ball control. Once you've mastered this, you will be able to start working on variations of this incredible skill of sombrero. And the most important part of learning the sombrero kick, repetition. Practice makes perfect. You can do it. See you on the field.